New York State Department of Health today ordered 40 hospitals, mainly in the central and western regions of the state, to stop non-essential, non-urgent elective surgeries. That means impacted hospitals must turn away those procedures for at least two weeks. The reason? The COVID case numbers continue to hit record levels. New York State reported a statewide positivity rate of 21.17%, along with 90,132 positive COVID cases. New Jersey reported 29,564 new positive PCR tests today. Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal has the story. Another record high as state officials announced 90,000 new coronavirus cases and vigorous testing in the state and city continue. At 180th in Amsterdam and Washington Heights tonight, many bundled up and lined up for a COVID test, including Joel Rodriguez. I was exposed to it because of my uncle. He says it happened during a New Year's Eve gathering. Now with another record number of COVID cases in the state today. It's definitely not good. I try to keep on top of um, the stats and everything, and it's definitely alarming. Indira Sanchez, an employee at an independent living facility who is fully vaccinated and boosted, is also getting tested. It's horrible to see that a lot of my friends who are like fully vaccinated have been getting it. Today, Governor Huckel is reporting a record 90,000 new COVID cases and more than 22% seven day average positivity. And a new state mandate is requiring 40 hospitals in the upstate regions to stop non-essential and non-urgent elective procedures for at least two weeks to limit bed capacity. And as of recent, more kids are catching COVID and being hospitalized. 91% of five to 11 year olds being treated are unvaccinated. Thousands of children have been vaccinated safely, and those are the children by and by and large are not the ones in the hospitals. The state is now requiring medical workers to be boosted within two weeks of eligibility with no test out option and nursing home visitors must wear a surgical mask and a proof of a negative COVID test within 24 hours of the visit. A sign as we head into a third year of this pandemic, there's no room for negligence. It's definitely frustrating. I can, I understand the fatigue, but it's definitely not a thing that we can get past if we're not doing our best to take care of ourselves and each other. State leaders say we can expect a difficult January, but next month will be much better. But the governor says that will depend on vaccinations and Super Bowl get togethers in Columbus.